Hi, and welcome to Galland IAS. This is Geo 2020. Here, we're going to learn about important geography topics along with current affairs to better prepare for preliminary exam. From the apocalyptic bushfires in Australia, which led to a fiery and agonizing death of millions of animals, to the devastating destructive deluge in East Africa, which led to the dislocation and destitution of thousands of poor people, Indian Ocean region have been in the grips of extreme weather conditions in our recent past. Experts blame climate change and also a phenomena known as Indian Ocean Dipole for these extreme events. UPSC have already asked a question related to Indian Ocean Dipole in a previous year exam. Add to this fact that Indian Ocean Dipole has an impact on our weather system. It has an impact on monsoon system, only increases its importance for our UPSC exam. So let's learn about Indian Ocean Dipole. IOD measures the temperature, the surface water temperature in Eastern Indian Ocean region and the Western Indian Ocean region. Let us look at the map of Indian Ocean region to better visualize the position of Indian Ocean Dipole. Here in this map, you have the Arabian Sea to the left, the Bay of Bengal to the right, and be below the line of equator, you have the Southern Indian Ocean. On the Western extreme, you have the African nations, and the eastern extreme, you have Southeast Asia and Australia. It is along the equator, near the equator, equatorial Indian Ocean region, that Indian Ocean Dipole switches from warm Western Indian Ocean to, to cool Eastern Indian Ocean in, during a positive dipole, or a warm Eastern Equatorial Indian Ocean, or a cool, uh, and a cool equatorial, Western Equatorial Indian Ocean region. Indian Ocean Dipole, IOD, is divided into three phases, the positive, the negative and the neutral. During a neutral phase, the equatorial region of Indonesia, Indian Ocean is evenly warm. But during a positive equatorial IOD, IOD phase, the western Indian Ocean region is warmer than the eastern equatorial Indian Ocean region. What this means is that the pressure is low, which draws in wind from all over the region, which increases the rate of evaporation, leading to cloud formation over Western Equatorial Indian Ocean region. This brings rain in Africa and surrounding regions. If positive IOD correlates with southwest monsoon season, the southwest monsoon winds carries this moisture-laden clouds towards the Indian Ocean subcontinent. Indian subcontinent leading to rain, increased, increasing rain in our country. Conversely, this means a delayed, positive IOD means a delayed monsoon in Australia. This is the main reason, a positive IOD is the main reason why there was a bushfire in Australia and floods in East Africa last year. During a negative IOD phase, conversely, there is a warming up of, up of eastern equatorial Indian Ocean region which means the wind is drawn from other areas to eastern equatorial Indian Ocean region, leading to the formation of cloud over there and rain in Australia. Now, you need to be very careful and thorough about the impact of Indian Ocean Dipole on India. Easy way to remember is, it, is that a positive IOD leads to a positive monsoon and a negative IOD leads to a negative monsoon. That's all about IOD. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.